Good afternoon, my name is Laura Davenport and today I am going to be discussing the benefits of daily physical activity in relation to helping issues such as depression, anxiety, um, self-esteem, self and mental fog. In America, a large percentage of our population is morbidly obese and additionally a large amount of the population struggles with issues such as depression, anxiety, and mental fog. Um, oh, going hand in hand with this is a lot of Americans suffer and have gotten into the habit of con oh, the overconsumption of unhealthy food um, and also a lack of daily physical movement. Um, and it's, there are a lot of scientific theories and research that back up that all of these things are connected to an incalculable number of the American population suffering from issues such as depression, anxiety, low self-esteem, and mental fog on a daily basis. Um, physical activity can be defined as anything as intense as CrossFit, which is a very intense um, cardiovascular workout, or just a 10-minute walk. What is really important about prioritizing physical activity is that it means that people are taking any amount of time in their daily life to give the gift to themselves of movement and pay attention to themselves and better their personal health and well-being because a lot of the time life gets so busy that people tend to sweep their personal well-being and health under the rug and that ends up really affecting them mentally and physically. Um, Sources that support these statements are five mental benefits of exercise, exercise and mental health, and the mental health benefits of exercise. Um, physical activity is very important to incorporate into everyday life to help increase the quality of life of American citizens. Daily exercise helps to fight depression and anxiety, increase self-esteem, and also helps to keep people mentally sharp. So. Um, by mentally sharp, I mean people go through their daily lives feeling like their brains are fogged and they can't think clearly. And a lot of that is due to eating unhealthy foods, fueling your body with unhealthy foods, and not, not exercising, not moving your body. Um, so in the fight against depression and anxiety, um, physical activity causes a chemical reaction in the brain that produces a they call it the feel-good drug which is um, dopamine and so when you work out you you get a, a chemical reaction in your brain that makes you feel better and that can help to combat anxiety and depression um, re like literally creating a reaction in your brain uh, physical activity increases self-esteem so when people start to show up for themselves and work out and they see not only aesthetic differences in their bodies, like losing weight and having muscle tone, they also start to feel stronger and feel better once you start lifting more weight or you can walk longer or you can run faster. That makes people feel like they're accomplishing something. And it's not, and it's outside of school or work, it's for themselves. There's, they're not doing that for anyone else. They're doing that for themselves. And that helps people to feel co more confident in themselves more confident in their own skin and that can lead to a large uplift in people's moods. Um, activity causes blood to pump to the brain and that actually helps people think more clearly so that can help to fix that issue of brain fog that I discussed earlier. Studies show that people who are active daily and prioritize physical activity observe improvements in anxiety, self-esteem, and mental clarity. There should be a societal movement to try to encourage exercise to improve the health of the citizens of the United States. This would lead to us being a happier and better functioning society, and I think that it would make a large difference in how we all feel like we live our daily lives. Thank you so much for listening to my presentation, and have a great night.